Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. In today's video, I wanted to talk about why we chose where we live today. Now we're in Central Oregon, and I'm not going to give too many details because I want my privacy, but this is my main road. As you can see, it's a dirt road, or a graveled road, and uh, uh, this is our property. And you can see our property is fenced by a deer fence. Now this is kind of a unique kind of property. You would think, when you look over here, you can see that we're high desert. And uh, this is one of the things that's kind of magical about this place. And I'm trusting my German Shepherd to be out here. But when you look at our property, you go, how can that be five acres, Rob? And the thing is, is only two and a half acres has got this deer fence around it. What was unique about this property is Sherry's folks that we bought this from uh, turned it into a Garden of Eden within the parameters of the two and a half acres and gives it some very unique qualities. But you can see uh, other houses around us are five acre lots too. And uh, we do have quite a community here. And uh, that's one of the things we we're talking about, folks that want to get out to the country, is how far do you really want to go? Do you want to go way out to the boonies where you have dirt roads you have to maintain yourself? How old are you? What's your age? What are you capable of? How, you know, how out in the boonies do you want to get? So we chose something that was on the grid, lots of space. It is, there is kind of a homeowner's association here. Um, very limited, but what's nice about that is they maintain our main roads. Farther out on our dirt road does go to a paved road. And they maintain those during winter times and stuff. And also these, even these gravel roads are maintained by our association. Belle, come. Uh, so I have to be kind of worried about Belle. She's never been outside the gates that much. She's doing well. Cinder's in the inside of the gate. The other thing that's really cool is, you know, German Shepherds look intimidating. You guys now know that my German Shepherd's a big baby. But when they're barking and running towards the fence, people are very hesitant to want to go past that gate. Our gate is electric and uh, we don't have a intercom system or anything like that. We do have a sensor on the, on the gate on, in the middle that tells us we have someone here. Um, I'm opening the gate right now. Come on, Belle. <coughs> and she handled that very well. But as you can see, as, you, as soon as you come on the property, it's like a Garden of Eden. Uh, the mow our lawns, I think we've told you before, it takes about three hours. And this is where we keep our RV, our shop, our house, which is a stick-built house. And you say, well, why is that significant? Well, a lot of places, especially out in the country, will use modular homes, maybe even mobile homes. And to buy a place like this, if it's a modular or a mobile home, you're required to do 20% or, or more to purchase something like this. What's a house like this worth right now? In 2020, it could drop because the, the economy is about to crash and burn. But if one's in really good shape like this one, you're looking close to 400000 um, doesn't mean you can't find better deals. Uh, there's a beautiful house over there. It's uh, modular. Uh, it's around 385, something like that. And then uh, throughout this area, there's land between one acre to five acres, six acres is a couple of exceptions to that. And uh, you can get some pretty good deals under 200,000 and have don't forget you can do a lot of great self-sufficient homesteading stuff on less than an acre acre uh, acre and a half as you can see the rest of our property within the parameters of defense is like a little garden of eden the outside of this property we own too uh, 
So we have probably another two and a half acres surrounding our property. And uh, so if we care to do sheep or goats or something like that, uh, I'd put them in the outside of the parameter. Uh, we also can change any of that to more garden area. I'd have to put more fence, uh, deer fencing because we have tons of deer here. And Sherry's mother and father, her mother was a master gardener. So this place was actually even uh, awarded uh, Master Gardener of the Year in this region at one time. I don't remember what year. I can guarantee you it's not that today. As I got older, it was just harder for them to maintain the stuff. So you can see we have tons of beautiful, just open grass. We may have to convert this a little bit as we get older. We don't want to be mowing that much grass. The other thing is going into our Garden of Eden is the first owners of this house put a pond in here. Now this thing leaks like a sieve, but that's okay. We have our own water. So uh, we have a little waterfall. This time of year we get a lot of angel hair in the system, so the water is not running as fast as we normally have it in the beginning of the year um, because of all the uh, angel hair seaweed, you might say, is in here. Uh, but we do have a couple of koi in here. I put them in. They're already about seven inches long, and they were just little guys when I bought them. So when you buy koi, by the way, they're expensive. So I bought baby ones. I just put two in, and because it's just those two, they're growing like a weed. And now I got really large ones that if you bought koi right that size, it'd be like 50 bucks each. Anyway, this pond is wonderful. It's a great refuge for the birds. We feed our birds here. Uh, we keep it under a gravel area. No longer will I let bird feeders be over the garden area because it just produces grass. So uh, anyway, so this cut we call this kind of our bird sanctuary. Um, it's cool. It's beautiful. It's uh, um, relaxing. We love this part of the property. Uh, high desert. Uh, we tend to not get uh, too much rain. Lots of clear skies, as you can see. Um, but our, our soil is needs amended when you use it. Uh, you can see some of the areas we've been highlighting in our videos. This is the back of our house right here. More grass. Endless grass. Once again, all that property outside of the fence is ours too. Once again, if I want to do a whole bunch of corn or something, I can clear out a spot out there, fence it off, bring water to it, amend the soil, and it'd be gorgeous. You probably recognize back here is where we've cleaned up. Uh, it was totally overgrown. Uh, you know, the reason we got a little better deal than with the pro number I gave you earlier is we had to replace the roof and we have to do the siding. So we got a fairly reasonable deal on this place. This has a very extensive watering system throughout the property. It was custom made, so nobody really knows where all the lines are. So we have to discover them either accidentally or intentionally dig them out. Uh, this area, as it goes back to high desert land, is where the new gardening is going to be in the spring. So we're slowly amending this soil. There is a watering system that was put in here and uh, we've been putting them in. As we were cleaning out the garden beds we took that really good dirt and started putting it in this area. But this next year should be beautiful and green. Uh, we'll tap into the watering system and extend it into the main garden. And we have uh, Lots of space back here for dirt, piles of dirt, a burn pile, uh, which that one looks really big at the time. But we're going to get the wood chipper out and uh, get that way down because I really don't hate burning. But uh, that'll go down really fast. But this year we've been cleaning so much. As you can see back here, we got the side of this house 
all cleaned up, trees away from there. We got the a root totally pulled out of there. And uh, now we're getting ready to get quotes on putting siding on this house. More, more lawn, of course. Uh, in this prime, there's beautiful flowers here, the whole works. Uh, we've had to take each garden bed, spray them to get the grass and weeds out of them, clear them out. Uh, we don't have to mend the soil, it's really good quality soil in all these gardens. Uh, and uh, we're putting the, the new beauty bark we have back here. Back here also you'll see in the future a high tower for tomatoes, a new greenhouse, and all those will be done by spring. At the end of this house, it didn't naturally have a, uh, it was uh, later built in, we call this the green room, and it was a growing room for her mother and father, and uh, acts as a greenhouse. But we need more of a hardcore greenhouse that we can have hoses in and spray and whole works, but we can do our starter plants in there that, for next year without a greenhouse. So uh, this place is beautiful. It's still pretty far from the major cities, but reasonable. Uh, that's one thing you want to keep in mind if you're going to have a homestead or you want to get away from the city. How far away do you really want to get? So uh, uh, we do have a fire department not too far away and emergency services. That's kind of good for people our age. And uh, uh, even vets and things for your pets. Uh, not that far away, but uh, the major city here is a good 40 minutes away. So when you go shopping and when you go out, it's an all-day adventure because you kind of do all your shopping on one day because you don't want to keep driving into town because it gets expensive. So anyway, I thought I'd show you a little bit more of the property, uh, of why we chose this and why we're happy with it. Uh, obviously, there's a, a family tie to this property. Um, and uh, so that's kind of neat. Made it comfortable to move into, other than the fact that it used to be our Sherry's folks. Um, so it doesn't feel strange to us. Uh, as we're we try, we're trying to keep the flavor of the property, but simplify it and then enhance it with more features for growing vegetables. Uh, Sherry's folks uh, did not like really do vegetables at all, so it's a whole new thing for this property. And they never had chickens either uh, or critters. We are thinking about a fourth t uh, building to do checker. Why? Because I used to have a game bird farm. And I love checker. Checker are just cool animals. They'll just be pets. Anyway, you see my big old burn pile. Lots of branches. We're going to have a video doing the wood chipper again. This is a big great property for our, our pets. With the deer fence around here, keeps them contained and safe. At the same time, they look fearsome enough that they people think twice about going through our gate and I kind of like it that way uh, mail and deliveries uh, semi okay but uh, uh, not the best uh, sometimes it takes a little longer to get a package here um, yeah so anyway I, I hope you enjoyed the little tour here uh, we obviously have a big shop right here sorry about the Sun uh, it's kind of a half and half barn, half and half shop. So in this sh barns part, we call it, we keep our uh, lawnmowers and tractors and uh, equipment in there. And then we have a shop that is uh, concrete bottom, lights, lots of electricity, and uh, a good work area for fixing a lot of things, which we we're doing a lot of fixing lately. And... Uh, also, or building, storing um, our Ranger Rock poopy bags, and uh, uh, because we're preppers, we also need more space for prepping items, not just food. So, anyway, uh, we keep generators in here, uh, just little things to kind of be able to prolong our stay here 
if we couldn't leave the property. And we also have our own well house. Um, so we, uh, our well is about 400 feet deep and uh, maintains our house, all of our watering systems, and uh, we basically have endless water as long as I could put a generator on it. In early videos, you saw that we put a, a uh, generator backup system into this um, here, which I would basically put my generator here, run other extension cords off of it uh, to also maintain my freezers. We're also going to buy a second. Uh, <laughs> just pulls the back of my truck. We're also going to buy a second generator, not so big, that we can put in the back of the house, not in the house, outside, to just run cords into the house to turn on any lights or maybe watch TV and stuff if we had a power outage. So there you go, guys. You got a tour of the property. Why we chose this. Um, because of our age, I really don't feel like building barns and, and extensive equipment or extensive buildings. I wanted some stuff already built. I want to be on the grid and try to learn how to be off the grid here if necessary. And uh, it's protected. And uh, yeah, so that's why we chose this. Uh, the downfall is... If you're building gardens, you have to amend your 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 soil. But once you add water to it, it's magical dirt. So uh, I hope that was a nice tour for you. Hope that gives you ideas. If you're deciding to move from the city and getting out a little bit, you can even get just outside the cities, get yourself maybe an acre, and you can do amazing things in a small lot. Uh, you don't have to have this much property. The more property you have, the more you have to maintain. Keep that in mind. And ask yourself, what are you willing to do? How's your health? And how's your, what's your age? What makes sense? I mean, this is great now, but how is this property going to be uh, for us when we're 15 or 20 years from now? Um, so we're also trying to simplify this property. Uh, that was actually one of the mistakes that Sherry's mom and dad made is... Uh, they couldn't keep up what they started um, just because it was getting too hard. And it makes complete sense. We also uh, want to make sure this property is kept in the family. So we're making it special and we're doing uh, improvements to it so the house and property lasts a long time. So whatever next generation gets this, it'll be a house that they could love and not have to be fixing as many things as we are. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day. Be safe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We would really appreciate it. Love to hear your comments below. Say hello. Tell us what you're thinking, what you're doing, and your ideas. And uh, you may say, boy, this place sucks. Um, doesn't you know? I don't have trees here I'm going to cut down for firewood or anything like that. Uh, but I get plenty of firewood, as you saw back there, just from trimming our trees. So there you go. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Guys, have a great day and bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.